Hey Aries, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a general reading for the next 48 hours. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And it is a general reading, so just keep that in mind. Not everything will resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. All right, we have the sun, which is Leo at the bottom of the deck. Maybe you're connecting to a Leo. Maybe you have Leo placements. I just kind of feel like you're going to see a very positive turnaround in a situation that has been um, maybe difficult or challenging in the recent past. I just feel like you're going to be very happy um, within the next 48 hours because there's going to be a solution to a problem that maybe you felt didn't have a solution or maybe, you know, there was something going on where you didn't think there was an alternative. I feel like you're going to find it. We have the Three of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the um, Four of Cups that fell to the ground. Maybe... Maybe you've been overthinking in the recent past about this and kind of, you know, trying to wrap your head around how something like this could happen. Maybe the Three of Swords is a betrayal. Maybe there's something that happened between you and a person that you really care about and you're just asking yourself, how is this possible? You know, what am I going to do? I feel like that overthinking tends to block our ability to see the, you know, the alternatives and the solutions. And I feel like there's just something about you kind of finding your way through that. Right behind the sun is the chariot, which is cancer, and then it's you, which is the emperor. So I feel like, you know, behind all of the worrying and the overthinking is your power. Your power comes through um, during, honestly, moments of stress sometimes, which I think is part of being ruled by Mars. Very similar to Scorpio. So I feel like for you, you're actually finding um, your strength here. With that four of wands, this is confirmation that there is a solution. There is, you know this moment where you're going to reach the outcome that you want. You're going to finish, you know, get to the finish line, reach the milestone. I'm having trouble speaking at the moment, so just bear with me. But I feel like with the Nine of Cups, there's a sense of feeling um, satisfied, fe feeling fulfilled, um, almost like you can expect to kind of... Hmm. I don't know why, but I kind of feel like with the Three of Swords, if you were in a third-party relationship or a third party situation in the recent past, I feel like part of you is realizing that maybe, you know, that's something that, you know, you don't need to be a part of anymore. Maybe you're realizing it differently. You're saying, well, maybe that had to happen for this and that. I don't know. Um, I just don't feel like this heartbreak or whatever this three of swords is meant to represent right now is supposed to, uh, you know, bring you down. I don't think that that's what's happening at all. In fact, I'd, I'd say that somehow it is lifting you up. Um, not the thing itself, but how it's making you feel. Um, let's go ahead and clarify that Three of Swords because I feel like there's a lot more to it. All right, we have Three of Cups, so could be confirmation that this is about a third party situation. But again, it feels like whatever the outcome is from this, you're the one benefiting from it. Almost like you're getting the opportunity that you need from that to pave your way. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. Something is just becoming absolutely clear for you right now, which is maybe why you're able to see the solution. And I feel like that's what the Ace of Pentacles is. It could be an opportunity, it could be an offer, but I feel like for you, it's the solution to this problem. You're able to see it clearly. You're able to understand that there is a way for this to get better for you. And I feel like with the King of Pentacles, this is your ability to remain grounded, your ability to remain cool, calm, and collected despite things that are outside of your control. And this is you saying, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure out a way through this no matter what. So right behind the Three of Cups is the Wheel of Fortune. Again, more confirmation. You're going to figure it out. I also feel like for some of you, this is about you kind of realizing that maybe there was a moment in time where you were doubting your ability to get through it. And until you had to maybe get through the worst part of it, you weren't able to see that. Almost like sometimes we have to almost go through um, the ringer to understand just how strong and how resilient and how powerful we are. But eventually you get to a point where you don't have to learn that lesson again. It's like you learn it once and that's it. So I feel like for you, you know, the clarity that you're receiving is what's creating this idea of or this ability to think about solutions to, you know, not be stuck in that type of mindset. 
because you've already done it. You've already overcome something. So it's just a matter of time before you recognize that you can do that. Let's clarify the Nine of Cups. King of Cups. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, this is also about you recognizing where you've been putting your energy, your time, you know, where you are emotionally invested. And with that, I think is going to come even more clarity, but it also is going to help you recognize where you should be putting your energy. Because uh, I feel like for some of you, maybe you've been prioritizing a relationship over your work, thinking that that relationship was going to, you know, be a certain way. And even if those of even for those of you that are not in a relationship, this could be about you recognizing that you've been, you know, putting in too much energy on other things and not yourself. And maybe now that's the kind of revelation. But we have the four of pentacles, the seven of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. So that's a lot of pentacles. It's a lot of, you know, earth energy. Maybe you're connecting to an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But with this four of pentacles, I kind of just feel like you're protecting yourself. This is you saying, I'm going to protect my energy from now on. I'm not going to just give it to anybody and anyone, right? I'm going to be very careful about who I'm spending my time with, what I'm doing. Kind of like you have a real goal right now. You know, you have something that you are trying to accomplish. And I feel like with the eight of pentacles, you're so close to accomplishing that goal. You're so close to you know, whatever it is that you're trying to do. So maybe in the next 48, what's happening is you're just getting complete clarity over one aspect of your situation that has been blocking your ability to keep, you know, going and putting effort into the right things, right? Into your priorities. Kind of like you could just be done with something and realizing what really matters for you, what's really important to you at this time. So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, Please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.